Time for On Town. Hey, Anna. Let's congratulate and bring on Melissa Butler from the Lip Bar because her cosmetics line, which started literally in the kitchen of her apartment in New York City, is now going to be launched by Walmart. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is so exciting. Tell me why you started this line and how did you get it to this point? Oh my goodness. So I started the lip bar in 2012, <laughs> making lipstick in my kitchen when I was working on Wall Street, because I really wanted to change the way women thought about beauty for themselves. I felt like we were all put in this beauty box and told how we need to look in order to be beautiful. And I was like, no, scratch that we're all beautiful we are all enough <laughs> and i want our customers to know that so the entire goal of the company was to increase representation so we use a really wide range of models whether that's um women with dark skin with full lips or trans women or women with no hair short hair tattoos we really just exist to like show the diversity within and within the beauty industry Let's show some pictures of the products because I really love how vibrant they are and that you run the gamut. I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm probably the palest Puerto Rican <laughs> you'll meet. And I hate when people say, you don't look Puerto Rican, not thinking that we come in all colors and sizes. And it happens to the African-American community because it, it also they also come in all shades. Yeah. Uh, beauty is one of those things where we've kind of been convinced that beauty looks like one thing and we've been convinced that beauty should cost a right. lot of money and that it has to be complicated. So you, you have people spending so much time watching YouTube videos when it's like, I don't have time for that. I want my makeup routine to work easy for me and <laughs> I want to be able to find high quality yeah. products at, at good prices that are non-toxic. So everything at the lip bar is vegan and cruelty free and highly pigmented and you can right. find it in stores across the country like Walmart, which we just launched and as well as Target. How was that journey, Melissa? Was it hard to break into this industry and also take it to a national level? How hard was it? Oh, of course it was hard. Um, like there have been many sleepless yeah. nights. There have been many months when I couldn't pay my rent and the company is nine years old. And so the first four years of the company, I knew nothing about business, but I was really um, steadfast in my approach and I was really committed to my purpose and changing the way people feel about themselves within the beauty industry. Um, it was it was incredibly difficult, but you know, over the last nine years and, and just really remaining consistent, we were able to grow. We took a lot of big risks. Like, you know, we, we you saw um, the Shark Tank moment. We built a lip bar truck and, and right. now today, we have a store downtown Detroit that, and that's where we're headquartered. So yeah, it was, it was very difficult and even hiring sometimes. Like I'm really proud that my team is all women. That's a big feat because most of the beauty industry is actually run by men yep. who don't use the product. So it's been incredibly difficult, but it's but been so <laughs> rewarding. It, there's so much irony in this, right? Because the men don't use the product and they're probably not, you know, they're probably at the top of the game, Caucasian. So, so it's hard for them to put themselves in our shoes. But listen, Absolutely. congratulations on your success uh, for TLB. It's, it started as lipstick and now it's an entire cosmetics line. Melissa, congratulations. Larry and Robin, we're going to send it back to you.